Mesothelioma is a type of cancer that develops from the mesothelium, which is a protective lining that covers many of the internal organs of the body. The mesothelium helps lubricate and protects internal organs from friction from other tissues and organs. There are three main types of mesothelioma based on where it develops in the body. Pleural mesothelioma, this type develops in the lining of the lungs, the pleura. It's the most common type, accounting for about 75% of cases. Peritoneal mesothelioma, this type affects the lining of the abdomen, the peritoneum. It makes up about 10 to 20% of cases. Pericardial mesothelioma, rarely, mesothelioma can develop in the sac surrounding the heart, the pericardium. It makes up less than 1% of cases. Common warning signs and symptoms of mesothelioma include Chest wall pain, pleural mesothelioma commonly causes persistent pain in the chest walls, shoulders or lower back that gets worse with deep breathing or coughing. Shortness of breath, the growing tumor can press on the lungs and cause difficulty breathing. Over time, breathing issues tend to worsen. Chest wall stiffness, restricted breathing from the tumor builds up pressure in the chest cavity and limits full expansion. Cough. A chronic cough that doesn't go away may produce spewed more blood. It occurs as the tumor grows and begins invading the lung. Fatigue, the lung impairment may cause persistent fatigue, weakness and low stamina. Weight loss, the progressive nature of mesothelioma often leads to unintentional weight loss due to inability to eat or lack of appetite. Abdominal pain, swelling, peritoneal mesothelioma develops in the abdominal cavity. As it grows, it causes pain and the abdomen may appear swollen or distended. Digestive issues, appetite loss, nausea, constipation or diarrhea can occur as the tumor presses on the intestines. Ascites, buildup of fluid in the abdomen is called ascites. It's seen more commonly in peritoneal mesothelioma. Pleural effusion, abnormal buildup of fluid in the pleural space, around the lungs called a pleural effusion is a hallmark symptom. While mesothelioma may at first cause only mild, vague symptoms, over time it gradually worsens as the tumor grows and spreads. People usually don't get diagnosed until later stages because early symptoms can be complicated to identify. Seeking medical care promptly if any persistent symptoms arise is important. Small cell lung cancer symptoms. Some key symptoms of small cell lung cancer include A new cough that does not go away or gets worse. Lung cancer commonly causes a cough, often accompanied by phlegm that may be bloody. Shortness of breath. Over time, the growing mass puts pressure on the lungs and causes shortness of breath, especially during mild exercise or exertion. Chest pain. As the tumor expands. It may put pressure on surrounding tissues in the chest and cause pain. Weight loss. Unexplained weight loss sometimes occurs as the person's appetite declines and tissue wasting develops. Fatigue. Impaired lung function can rapidly tire a person, so fatigue sets in easily. Recurring pneumonia or bronchitis. When lung cancer develops, it can weaken the lung's ability to fight infection. Hoarseness. If the cancer involves the vocal cords or windpipe, hoarseness or changes in the voice may arise. Difficulty swallowing. As the tumor grows, it may press on the esophagus leading to dysphagia or trouble swallowing. Bone pain. The cancer can spread beyond the lungs to affect bones. This causes painful areas, usually in the back, hips or pelvis. Lump in the neck. If the cancer has metastasized, it may show up as a lump or swelling in the neck from enlarged lymph nodes. Chest pain. As the lung tumor enlarges, it can cause a sharp, stabbing chest discomfort, especially when coughing or breathing in. Headache. Due to the way it quickly multiplies within the body, small cell lung cancer in later stages may potentially cause headaches as it spreads to the brain. While the symptoms above are common, small cell lung cancer may initially cause only minor complaints that could be mistaken for other illnesses like bronchitis or pneumonia. But promptly seeking a doctor's evaluation if symptoms persist or worsen is important for diagnosis and the earliest possible treatment. Seeing a doctor also helps rule out other potential causes.
Both mesothelioma and small cell lung cancer tend to have vague, nonspecific signs initially that worsen over time as the disease progresses. Effective testing like CT scans, biopsies or PET scans are relied upon to confirm a cancer diagnosis since symptoms alone usually don't clearly indicate malignancy. Early detection is crucial for maximizing treatment outcomes, though sometimes these cancers don't produce noticeable symptoms until later stages when prognosis is less optimistic. But greater public awareness of potential red flags can encourage more prompt medical evaluation. Mesothelioma develops from the protective lining of the body cavities in response to asbestos exposure, most often affecting the pleural mesothelium surrounding the lungs. It has a long latency period between asbestos exposure and symptom onset of 20 to 50 years. The most common initial symptom is pleural chest pain which may spread to the neck and shoulders. Other frequent signs are shortness of breath due to a pleural effusion or mass effect on the lung, persistent cough, fatigue, weight loss and mixed symptoms related to spread in the abdomen in peritoneal cases. Small cell lung cancer arises from tobacco use in over 90% of situations, forming rapidly growing masses within the lung. Symptoms tend to arise over weeks to months and include cough possibly with blood, shortness of breath on exertion worsening over time, chest pain, recurrent infections, hoarseness if near the vocal cords or swallowing issues if pressing on the esophagus. Weight loss, bone pain and headache can indicate spread beyond the lungs. Both cancers require specialized testing like sputum cytology, bronchoscopy, imaging such as CT scans and tissue biopsy for definitive diagnosis. Early identification is important for maximizing treatment potential through surgery, radiation, chemotherapy or other therapies. However, vague and nonspecific symptoms pose a challenge for prompt identification necessitating heightened awareness.